goodness me we have had quite some rain and I don't think I have ever seen this area like this look at this tiny little brook it's like I can't believe how fast that's flowing wow this is our favorite tiny little brook and this is like a full-on it's like rapids goodness me wow this is unbelievable come on Forty. you okay my love you're okay you're okay come on good boy yeah, right. wow <gasps> water and barkley thought they knew best <laughs> And they didn't follow us. Porty, you wait there, my love. You wait there. Oh my goodness me. They thought they knew best. <laughs> His little paws. This is absolutely wild. This stream in summer often completely dries up. Look at this completely overflowing body oh my god oh, oh mommy he looked back at me like oh my goodness me Barkley you're such a country doggy come on body you can do it my love you can do it you can do it! Well, well done! I said to Ali that I think the bridge will be under with the water this high. And lo and behold, the bridge is underwater. I, in, in the six years that we've lived here, I have never seen this. Come on, boys! They're not going to be able to get through here though, are they? I don't even know if I will. My boots have got a hole in them. All right then, Barky. Get you first, mate. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Did you a little wash. <laughs> Porty, don't go. Porty, don't go. Don't go, my love. Daddy will come get you. Daddy will come get you. Give you a little wash as well. I don't need it. Daddy might have to come and get me as well. Oh, I'm just gonna go like this. oh gosh. Really? Yeah. Wait, 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 I've got my bloody phone in my pocket. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Try, try again. Really? Barkley, you are not going in that water. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh. Wait, boys. Oh. Goodness me. Well done, soggy doggies. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Wow, this is unbelievable we've got the baby lambs in the field as well the first lambs of 2024 are in this field and they are so tiny tiny little black schnoots oh my goodness me what do you think Morty? well that is some hairdo <laughs> but if you hadn't realized uh we've had a lot of rain in the uk if you're not from the uk then um you might not know that i think if you're from the uk you might know that i think that that is the most wet it has ever been around here so i'm gonna run the dogs a bath and 
The European plum tree in our garden is in full bloom, well not full bloom, but most bloom. I'm gonna pick some of the blossom and do a little arrangement for the hallway and the living room and things like that. Let's see if they want to come up, but um, it's like a really beautiful day outside, which is so strange. It's like really nice and mild and it's nice to be out there. I actually took my coat off and it was just really lovely. But yeah, very, very wet. And it rained for a little bit and my hair, we're gonna try and put this up, don't worry. <laughs> Rectify this situation. But the dogs need a bar. We're going to use the Attire Care Organic Dog Shampoo. This is tea tree leaf and cedarwood extract. Mm, smells delicious. Oh my gosh! Look at the state of his soggy doggy! Oh my goodness me! In you go! There you go, that's enough. Oh my god, it's already dead in the water. If we get the other one, we have a hernia. This is hectic. Oh gosh. <laughs> Straight into the living room where there's bloody carpet. Hen's eggs and a little lump of caviar. Be impressive without cockerel legs, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Is that what you're having? With the caviar? Yeah. You think I should have more? Yeah, go for, go for it for your boots. That's enough. Otherwise, it looks very Sunday. Well, the light is very strange today. Um, it's sunny. We're not used to this, but it's very, very sunny today. And I've been back in my greenhouse because. My sweet pea seeds lasted all of, I think less than 24 hours in the toilet rolls because there has been another intruder and mouse in my greenhouse. So I've had to replant all of them. Um, it was like a sweet pea seed massacre. And I brought in one of my cloches and popped this on top. I'm not even gonna try and lift it on off, but 
Yes, we've got a humane mouse trap in here to try and get rid of our little friend, just to show you that it is a humane one. Um, so we use these all the time because Lumi brings in mice, so to get them out and get them safe. They just pop in there for some food, it closes behind them, and then we let them out into the wild again. But yes, um, <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. Slowed me down slightly because that's not what I wanted to be doing today. But now I'm going to sort out the flowers on the island whilst Ali, I believe, cooks a roast. But it smells glorious in here. Now, I've just gone downstairs and found this old Neptune hurricane jar. And I think I'm going to use this for some blossom on the console table in the hallway. So giving it a bit of a wash. It did have a candle in it, but we're going to try it with some sprigs of uh, awesome. I simply couldn't help myself and I just think these things are always over complicated aren't they we add too much stuff and really it's just a couple of sprigs in a clear vase like this always just looks so lovely I've got my Dalesford tomato vine candle on there it feels like spring Mr Mill and Gordon has popped open a Christmas bottle of wine that we got a couple of years ago yeah it was for Christmas 2022 yeah Babylon Storen, a Shiraz, and it's actually very lovely. Very much enjoying that. So I'm going to pour Ali a glass. Delumptious. Do you quite get that out? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I have just got ready for the day. I've had the most wonderful morning. We were up early and um, we've had a few comments on Barkley recently and his weight and so we're trying to just get him moving a little bit more and just keeping, keeping an eye on things. So we took him for a little run just to the end of the road and back and he seemed like he had a lot of fun. Porty would never he would absolutely never and then we came back and we did yin yoga but now that i've got like into my sort of pilates i desperately want to get back on my regular yoga height especially yin yoga so we did 15 minutes ali and i this morning after the run and it was just a lovely way to start the day it really really was i'm now sat at my laptop though because i've got a call in eight minutes um, just a little Zoom meeting with my publishers. So we're going to get that ticked off the list and I've got a meeting with, meeting. I feel like that makes it sound way more fancy. I have the Nicholson's guys coming over because the outside of our home is now 99.9999% finished. Uh, today we are just looking at the lights and what the possibilities are with the lights at the front of our house, just to make things extra safe, but also keep it nice and illuminated and easy to see when it's dark. Our U-balls are in and everything has been replanted, remulched, it looks fantastic. So if I get the opportunity to, I will take you outside. However, yesterday was, the most glorious day. I'm actually wondering whether it's gonna brighten up a bit here. It's looking like it could, but it was so sunny and wonderful yesterday. It put both Ali and I in just the most uplifted mood. It really got me preparing for spring um, in a lot of my thoughts, in what it was that I was sort of planning to do. When this video goes out, I believe it will be just over a month until official spring starts. And so I thought it could be nice to start like getting the home ready, getting things prepped um, and that kind of thing. But also I thought it would be quite nice to set some intentions for spring because obviously we sent our New Year's intentions 
and I found that really, really useful. And I don't want this to be something that I'm doing just once a year. So I thought maybe we could get into that together as well. Planning our minds for spring, planning our lives, planning our home, planning our fashion even. I thought it could be a nice way to sort of holistically look at things in this way. I don't know, call me mental, but I will find this very, very motivating for the season ahead. So I am gonna get, is it raining? Have I just said that it looks like it's gonna brighten up and it's actually raining? Is it raining? No, it's not raining, it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Makeup this morning is very minimal. I have literally just gone for the Ilia mascara. Um, a little bit of, I, I just used the Victoria Beckham nude eyeliner like a concealer and I just pop it where I want it and then a little Ilia lip thingy. Um, I look pale as anything. Spring and summer is coming so I'm trying to get as much like vitamin D on me as possible. Obviously I've got my SPF, I've got my Elizabeth Arden, advanced ceramide and um, I've got my SPF over the top so it's all good. Uh, I've got my morning little concoction which I'm thinking of ways that I can like add to this now because I've got the ashwagandha in there, I've got my L-glutamine, I've got a little bit of lemon juice. What should we add? I feel like I could add this to a smoothie but I feel like that's more of a faff. I've got to a good point with this so, hmm. Hi Liviana. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Sorry. They always they think someone's arriving whenever I go, hi. Well, that is me finished for my morning meetings. And when I say meetings, I had one meeting and um, a very important meeting about lights, <laughs> which was, it was difficult stuff. Actually, to be fair, we did also plan for the wildflower. But as I said, when you're gonna be watching this video, I think that you are going to be thinking about getting ready for spring. And I know that I was last night and both Ali and I realized that we'd ran out of some of our cleaning products. Um, one of the ones that was more on the sort of um, intensely toxic side of things. Um, so I did a bit of an order. I actually ordered something from Colt and Willow. I think they're going out of business because they haven't done anything on their social media for a few months and everything was on sale, but it's not arrived yet. But I did do an order from Selfridges. Now, you're gonna have to forgive me on this one because you know what I'm like. I... I get very excited about the seasons, but I feel like none of the seasons are more optimistic than spring. And I get very, very excited about spring. So what I wanted to do at the moment is just refresh almost like everything in the house, get rid of clutter, clear out cupboards, but also clean as I go. And so I did treat myself to a few more candles um, in terms of springtime. And I know what you're gonna be saying, idiot, candles are toxic. I'm just not ready to let them go yet, to be honest. I, I, I need to find a way to enjoy my candles um, and not, not worry, but until that point, I'm enjoying my candles. And this is the, the thing with these kinds of journeys. I could, I could come on here and show you me doing it absolutely perfectly, um, but the truth is, is that there has to be, parts of wellness are also the joy that you experience in life. And I find candles and creating atmospheres in my home very enjoyable. That's probably a huge contradiction that will jar a lot of people. However, that's just the beauty of being able to watch someone's life that's different to yours. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd get into this box. I succumbed to the new cleaning range from Diptyque, which I just, I can't believe I've not experienced it sooner, but they also had their they're candles and they are exactly what I hoped they would be. So the reason why the range got me so excited was um, because it had this strong note of basil in it. And it's so funny, I was just showing Satin one of the candles that I love the most in my house that I've not been able to, to, to burn is um, the Sear Trudon, the, the one that smells like basil. Well, Diptyque has brought out their own herb garden smelling candle and I am in love with it. So this is like what their entire cleaning range is 
uh, centered around. Now I don't know how you say this. La droguerie, the droguerie. I have blah, blah, blah. no idea. Absolutely incredible and such a lovely, fresh and uplifting fragrance. But they also do a multi-surface refillable cleaner, which I absolutely just loved. If there's one thing I love about Diptyque, it's their branding. But this, as a cleaning fragrance, I thought to clean my home and get it ready for spring, considering we'd... Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Oh, love that. Oh my goodness. So good. So to just have something, it, I feel like that's... A, it's like when you get new gym gear. You're incentivized to do something when you're enjoying the stuff that you're doing it in or doing it with. So this was a little treat um, for me to clean with. I also picked up, because refreshing your home and refreshing your life is what we're going to do in this video. It also means refreshing your car. If you don't know, I love the Diptyque Fleur d'Orange uh, car uh, scent diffuser thing because it just smells incredible and honestly, it lasts forever. So I thought I'd get another one of those. And then they did a room fragrance spray of the cleaning collection. Now, if anyone can let me know how to pronounce this, in the uh, comments, that would be lovely because otherwise I'm just gonna be calling it the Diptyque Cleaning Range. But I love that it came in like this amber, amber glass that feels very sort of different for Diptyque. And again. Oh, up my nose. It's really, really nice. That is such a soft, homely, countryside-y fragrance. Really, really impressed with that. I did treat myself to a few more candles. I love candles. They have a wild bluebell fragrance, and I just thought with the season being bluebell season, ooh, that is lovely. Oh my gosh, so fresh. Wow, really, really love that. So a few little bits and pieces for me to decant once, once I've, cleaned and organized the home, but now we are organizing the laundry room. Organize, put things in their appropriate places, so all is good. We are knee deep in the laundry room. It's the laundry room, come candle room, come pet room, come flower arranging room, but we have made so much progress in here already, so we're just sorting out the little candle stash. This used to be all across here and I made it my mission to actually use my candles, not just sit them in for best. And so we have actually made a good dent on them. The neon ones we love to have down in the gym for when we do workouts or yoga or whatever. Um, so it's looking a lot more organized. Lots of pillar candles, bits and pieces like that. Organizing the pet cupboard as well. And then I've got my bud vases at the bottom, ceramics and pickling jars and then some random vases. We've just added that one shelf at the top as well because why not? And now it's just sorting out all of these bits and pieces, the little stragglers. I've got the, the ice machine going. Oh, I didn't even show you this as well. This is a little nest that was in our wisteria. And obviously we would have left it there, but during the storm, it blew out and it was soggy and soaked. And so we brought it in to see if we could dry it out. We might try and put it back in there. Otherwise we'll just keep it and I'm sure the birds will be back. But yes, very, very cute. Lots of little fluff in there. Well, it feels like another room in here. It's, it's almost echoey because there's so much less stuff in here. We've had such a good clear out. The uh, ice machine is still going. Um, we're nursing my little mint plant back to health, but um, I think it would be nice to have the mint plant in here. We had a fern before, and I think because we keep this door closed a lot, I think it'll be nice to have like the fragrance of mint in here. So we're gonna nurse it back to health, but one room ticked off the list. Time to tackle the kitchen. And I have to be honest, this was a lot worse. Um, I've kind of been subconsciously filing things away throughout the day, but 
the sun's kind of in and out, so I'm gonna open up the doors and just get some fresh air in. I think that that's always such a brilliant port of call to make your home feel like it's been reset. Like just throw the windows and doors open, even if it's raining, there's something quite lovely about the smell of rain at this time of year, that's just me. Maybe you've had enough of the rain, I get it. I'm just gonna open up the front door, open up the back door, let a nice through draft I'm going to do my usual thing that I do, which is basically anything that is cluttering the sides. So what you can't see is I've got an iPhone stand here. I've got a battery that needs charging, my table sweeping brush. Um, I've got my flask, Ali's flask, all of these kinds of things. I'm just gonna collect up and put into this corner here. And then that's how I then delegate everything off to where it should be because it just puts everything in one place. I can see what the surfaces are like and it makes my life a lot easier. I call this the clutter flush. <laughs> Once I've got everything into one place, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna spritz all of the surfaces with a big helping of multi-surface spray. This is obviously the one that I picked up um, from Diptyque. I'm gonna put it to the test. In the utility, we actually used the Buy Matter one, and I know that the girls in the office love that. It was my first time smelling it. I'm gonna see if this compares, because the Buy Matter one is very, very good. I didn't realize that they'd actually sent some to the office and so I got to try some. Wouldn't have ordered this if I'd known, but it means I get to put two to the test, and obviously this is quite a new release from Diptyque, and so I'm intrigued to put it to the test so you guys know whether it's actually good or not. Now I'm gonna say I am very impressed with the fragrance that the cleaning product from Diptyque is giving off. It's giving nice, clean, but quite eucalyptus-y. Like it's making, I like things to smell clean. I really like this. I really, really like it. One thing I would say for your kitchen, if you don't have a selection of pinch pots, I would highly recommend getting some. We've got sea salt in here a little bit of, uh, I think that's black pepper in there. And then Ali always likes to keep the herb that he most uses in a little pinch pot as well. And um, this time of year, the end of winter, throughout winter, it's definitely been rosemary, but I'm sure that that will change as we get into spring, summer. But they're just so handy to keep just here so that you've got your little seasonings to hand. The hooligans are on the terrace, but I'm gonna give the table a quick brush down because obviously my dining table is a, an acquired taste. Not everyone is into this style of table, but we most definitely are. It does get lots of bits and pieces just in the little holes when we have guests over, whatever, it just tends to get a bit more cluttered. So I like to give it a brush over and then give it a spritz with an all-purpose uh, spray. Now what's left is this area to just file things away. So these are all the bits and pieces, plus a lip balm from Elizabeth Arden that needs to be filed away. I've obviously still got my Norfolk blue plate, which I ordered from eBay. Still trying to find three more so that these will one day live here. I think under this light, this will look so cute. But until then, I've got it perched on a little plate stand and I'm sure that that can just be popped anyway. In fact, it might look nice in the utility, uh, but candles to be filed away. I also, once I've done that, will go on to refilling any diffusers around the home. These are the Dalesford uh, Botanical 
vine tomato diffusing oils. So I just buy the, the refills now and pop them in the diffusers, which we have around our home. And I go and spritz any fabrics with my fragrance of choice. This is the one that arrived today from Diptyque, which I just think is blooming gorgeous. So I'll spritz things like the blinds. Oh, I will also change out this painting for our more spring-like painting. I think that's next on my list to do. So spent the day getting myself into a rhythm with my ice machine because ice is going to be very, very essential over the coming months. And my ice maker is just the best thing ever. None for you, Porty. I know you love ice cubes too. Well, the clutter is gone and the kitchen feels like a dream. So obviously today, I only tackled the laundry in the kitchen, but this is something I'm doing just gradually. I'm not setting myself the, the task of getting everything sorted in one singular day. I am hoping to tackle the living room tomorrow with you and potentially my um, dressing room as well. And I think that that would be a really, really good start on the home stretch to spring. However, We've been busy in the kitchen. We've actually got Jerish Capolo this evening. Every so often, my assistant's mum makes us some food. She's just really lovely like that. We never say no, so we've got that. But we've also got a salad with pomegranate, a cucumber and lettuce. Then we've got a homemade dressing as well. Um, and we've also finally managed to, this is something I've been meaning to do for such a long time, but we love, ginger, lemon, turmeric shots. So we wanted to make our own instead of buying them. So we've got some marinating in the fridge and it's got me quite excited. I've got to be honest, looking in our fridge at the moment, but it's really exciting me how slowly we are just getting items that are in our own jars, you know, our honeys, water, just reusable things, things made from, from scratch, things from home. Over time, I'm really hoping to have more and more of that. And obviously, slowly we will transition out of things like this. And it's all been a learning curve, really, but there's lots, lots changing in here. Even our cheese that we've always bought. I basically downloaded this app today called Yucca. It's so easy to use. You literally just scan the barcode on anything, whether it's a beauty product or a food product, and it tells you what's in it and whether it's good or bad, it gives it like a rating. So I actually scanned my rose body cream from Fresh this morning, the, the rose morning one, and it actually, it's it scored quite well. So I actually, it's not so bad, um, which was very, very good. But I'm gonna dish up dinner now. I'm actually making notes um, in my agenda at the moment. I've been noting down all of the things to just check off each room that I'm getting done. Um, I'm also making some style notes. I think it's gonna be really important for me to just have a very clear view of, of the things that I, uh, are within the parameters of my style for the month ahead. I'm gonna see how that goes because um, I don't wanna deviate and waste money on, on anything anymore. And so just having some almost like spring style intentions, I think will be really, really helpful for me. Then I'm gonna do my intentions for spring as well, what it is I want to do more of, what it is I want to do less of. I think this is gonna be a really useful thing for not just setting an intention at the beginning of the year, but also carrying that through and introducing more things rather than waiting until the end Good of the year. Good morning, any, anyone? Everyone. Good morning, everyone. Um, I was gonna get ready and make a smoothie with you, but I um, this is what you're getting. I've done a PT workout and we've gone for a little mini walk with the dogs up the lane um, because it is a very unspring-like day today. So lots of rain, lots of wind, and I feel very, very sorry for anyone that has to work in the garden today because 
it's a it's a cozy at home day which is good because i want to get everything that's sort of finished off not finished off but i want to make a big dent on um some other rooms in the house like my dressing room my bedroom the bathroom that kind of thing although i'm really wishful thinking there i had a chat with my pt this morning and um, he's highlighted to me that he thinks that i'm not getting enough protein in my diet now and so one of the things that i'm either going to do I'm gonna message him actually and ask him whether he thinks I would be better making a protein smoothie from scratch, which is what I'm gonna to have to do today because I don't have any protein powder, or whether I would be better off getting a very naturally occurring non-UPF, I don't even know if that's possible with protein powder, alternative, who knows. But it's also gonna be good for me putting my L-glutamine and my ashwagandha in as well, and just packing it with loads of other things. So I'm actually gonna message him and see if that's okay. But I think I've got frozen bananas in the fridge. I do! Goodness for that! I mean, I'm sure you all know to do that anyway, but if your bananas are going, just chop them up and put them in the freezer because it makes it so, they're like a, a great way to just use them for bases of smoothies. The thing I'm noticing with a lot of the recipes that I'm finding online for a homemade protein smoothie is a lot of them have like skimmed milk, dairy-free milk, low-fat yogurt, whereas I tend to eat like all of the whole things. And yeah, like reduced fat Greek yogurt. I might just do it with the things that I have today. My PT said he's gonna have a look. We're just gonna make something, I think. That's what we're gonna do. And I'll try and make a recipe if I can. You'll probably tell me that there's loads of um, UPF in it, but I'm just gonna try my best because we're all just doing our best, aren't we? At the end of the day. I've put the banana in. I've got some kefir as well, so I'm gonna put that in. So what I'm going to do is put the last of these blueberries in as well. Oh, I'm kind of just making this up. We're gonna see what happens. So I've got two tablespoons of peanut butter. So this was the peanut butter that I found um, in weight. Oh gosh, that's a bit oily. Goodness me. And basically, I'm doing this to attempt to help my body recover better because my PT has highlighted that he doesn't think I'm getting enough protein all the time. And especially now that I'm like working out so much more, this will be helpful. And I'm actually quite excited about it. Two teaspoons. Uh, two tablespoons, sorry, because Mr. Milling Gordon is having some. Measure that out. Flaxseed and chia seed. I'll do a scoop each for us. Put some nuts in there. Right, let's just whiz. I don't think this is my best work. I think I need to get my ratios better, but we're gonna go with it for now because it's got what we need in it. <laughs> That's Ali's, mine. I'm gonna add my supplements. Ali, your thing is not my best work, but it's got what you need in it. I'm going to add my glutamine to this. So then I'm having quite a lot of lemon juice at the moment because I think it's obviously like flavoring food really nicely without, but because both Ali and I have stopped having any condiments that aren't made homemade. Um, so lemon juice is being really good for like what it is that we're eating and I don't want to be having like too much for my teeth at the same time. So this is a lovely way to get my supplements in. Obviously, if I wasn't making this for Ali, I would just whiz it with my supplements in, but he doesn't have my supplements, so. That's healthy. It's just a homemade protein shake. You like it? Mm. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was not my best work, but Mr. Mill and Gordon has just said it's delicious. Yeah, can I say it's a little bit more blending on the nuts because they can get Yeah. Before. Okay, I think I've already said good morning to you, but. Um, it is not spring like today. It is amazing. It never fails to amaze me how yesterday was actually such a gorgeous day and then 
today is just so different. It is blowing a gale, it is so wet. I have a dressing room that is absolute carnage and I don't know about you, but clutter on the sides of my dressing room anywhere. Sorry, I have to apologize. That smoothie, I am so full. <laughs> and I'm not used to being this full in the morning. Um, I don't often talk about the fact that I don't have breakfast. So for me to have, have had such a, you know, I've had a banana, loads of blueberries, peanut butter, yogurt, milk, nuts, all of that kind of stuff. I'm like, whew, this early on in the morning. But I'm really hoping it's going to help with my recovery from working out because health really is my priority. I feel so lucky to be in the position that I'm in, that I'm learning this in my 30s. I think it must be quite hard for these lessons to be coming to like the forefront now, if you're maybe later on in life. I mean, there is nothing stopping you from making the changes now, but to know that we've eaten this way our whole lives is like, it's a worrying thing. And obviously I know that I've got a, a lot of wonderful people watching me that are a lot older. And I would just say like, embrace whatever change it is that you want, want to make. Um, I just, when I look at my dad and like the, the issues that my dad, has with um his health and things like that i'm like oh my gosh i almost wish i wish i could like re rewind the clocks and like help him that's mainly where my frustration comes from and i hope that that's not like <laughs> upset any of you but anyway my gosh off on a tangent then um i'm in cozy clothes today i'm not in my usual boots and jeans this is one of my work from home hacks for me personally especially on days like today is that i cocoon inwards so when the weather doesn't like set my my soul on fire initially i use it as an opportunity to embrace that more cocoon cocoon like feeling and it's actually served me so well in terms of like my mental health over the christmas period and not letting, letting me get like down in the dumps i've been so much better so um that's one of my little hacks so i'm wearing one of my pretend collared shirts um, actually, I put it up like this sometimes, but it just looks so much smarter down. This always makes me feel very much like my grandma, and if you are new to this channel, you might not know about my grandma. I have my, I have two grandmas, my nonna and my grandma, and my nonna is like your typical Italian nonna who is just like the sunshine of a human. She's tiny, but she's got attitude, she tell you off. She make you eat more food. She's the most amazing person in the world. And then you have my grandma. This is where like you kind of see the, the polar opposites between my family. Whereas my grandma is this exceptionally, like she's very tall. She's very, very glamorous. She's well put together even now, like whenever I uncover pictures of her, she's wearing the same kind of clothes that she wore 50 years ago that she is today. She's very, um, she likes the nicer things in life, et cetera, et cetera. And this is an outfit that my grandma would wear, in my opinion. Like, it's just pure comfort, but chic comfort. Cashmere trousers from Lily Silk. Cashmere, very like, they call this baby cashmere because it's very light and it's got a subtle um, cable in it. This is one of my most favorite things that they have ever done. I am really hoping in fact, that's just giving me a bloody idea. Carrie, I'm not putting this in because you're not editing it. Hold on one second. Sorry, I've just had a really good idea, but what, I, so now I can't say it on my channel, but this is my most favorite of all of my most favorites from Lily Silk, in my opinion. And I think this is one of the best things they've ever done. It makes me feel so wonderful. It makes me, and I've spoken about it a lot, but it makes me feel comfortable and yet um, productive because I still feel like I look nice. I'm not embarrassed when I'm opening the, the door. If I was going somewhere in this, like say I wanted to wear this on a flight, I'd pop some Laura Piana uh, summer walks on. I've got these gorgeous tan summer walks. Or you could go with your uh, Aran sandals, those kinds of things, but I do love a Laura Piana summer walk. They are very comfortable, very chic. You know the drill. However, I'm not planning on leaving the house today. Ali has let the chickens out. I am in the house for the rest of the day and I've got cashmere socks on. These are actually cashmere and wool mix socks and I would highly recommend these. I get them on Amazon, I buy them in bulk. They are so good for actually wearing. You know like cashmere socks, they just break down. These ones, so good. I wear them in my Dubri boots. In fact, these are fast becoming the only socks that I wear other than my pop socks. Anyway, big update, verbal 
overload with you, but I um, went for a walk in the rain this morning. We took the dogs to the end of the road and um, I think that was enough for them. Porter was like, mummy, we don't usually do this. What's going on? I don't mind swimming across the lakes, but when it's raining, absolutely not. However, it really got me like grateful for my hair and being able to wear my hair like this these days because I style my hair so much less with this like flicky hairstyle. And I feel like that's where I'm realizing that I love the Dyson Air app for volume, but for actual style, like me going over and over and over with those brushes, it's a little bit much. So I'm now using it on my like Mohican to give it volume at the root. And then I'm using my GHDs and I do actually have a new set of GHDs um, the new technology, which I'm super, super excited to try out. I don't think I'm gonna get to try it in this video, but I will give you a full rundown in another video because I'm super excited about this. It makes my, it just, it, for me, it, GHDs, I, I've got confidence in their styling and how they're gonna hold my hair. And when I'm literally using them on my hair once a week, and then I just maybe touch it up, I think that I'm being much kinder to my hair personally. This style obviously lends itself, but hey ho. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. I want to start decluttering in my dressing room. I've got a few bits and pieces to get into, so maybe I'll do that once we've decluttered everywhere, because at the moment, there's a lot of stuff. And so let's get cracking, let's go. Now, first things first, I have been signing off a few more samples. Just checking these over, I've got four, five samples here, and checking softness and feel and weight and that kind of thing. So those have just been signed off. I have a collection of some beauty products on here. And obviously I mentioned in the video that I am so happy to um, be using my Yucca app. It's telling me what products and foods that are good and bad and where to find alternatives and things like that. And I scanned my morning, my fresh rose morning body cream and it said that it was good. So let's check, cause I'm using the, the shower cream at the moment. Ooh, unknown. That's strange. Usually you are able to scan a product like this, it tells you. So that's what it did with my body cream. So the, the fresh stuff seems to be coming up really well. So this is 86 out of 100, excellent. But this for me is proving to be a really good app for me sorting through beauty bits and pieces. And just, if there's something that I really want to try and I'm just excited to try, I am happy to try things because I'm not trying to be 100% with these things and I still love beauty and I still want to try lots of beautiful things but it's just good if I find something that I'm planning on using daily like a body cream, a shower cream, a moisturizer, a, a deodorant, those kinds of things, it's really good to know what it what is putting on your body basically. I love this as a toner, I actually pop this into spray bottles and use it as a, like I literally spritz it onto my face. It's so beautiful. So very happy, happy about that one. I also received their kombucha, then their morning rose eau de parfum, but it smells beautiful. This is such a lovely fragrance, just for spraying on yourself at home, but also it's, it works really beautifully as like a room fragrance. Oh, so fresh. Literally. <laughs> I then received a wonderful gift from the Clay de Poe team as well. I feel like this lighting is awful. Why am I, why am I persisting to light, light this this way when I can just light it this way? Who knows? Beautiful gift from the Clay de Poe team, which was very lovely, which came with a wonderful gift, which I think we all know I will put to good use. This is an Aspinall of London um, notebook, but it's an unlined notebook and it's basically very easy to replace. It's essentially kind of like a sheet of leather that folds around a book and it comes with a gorgeous Clay de Poe pen. This will be really good for like mind mapping, sketching, just noting little bits and pieces down. It's in a gorgeous navy color that matches the bag that within the bag came some little clay de po bits and pieces. So we have the intensive brightening mask. Oh, I might use that this evening. And it's also got the firming serum supreme and also a lip glorifier. Not my usual lip glorifier, but maybe I should try this one. This is neutral pink. So this is just basically a lip balm, I think. Which is great because I have lip blush. <laughs> so that's good for me as well. Beautiful lip balm. I also have been sent some Arta supplements, which 
This is an enhanced symbiotic, live bacterial strains and digestive enzymes. I think that's probably gonna be quite a good one for me to introduce into my diet. In fact, I might see if they have an ashwagandha and I might try it because I love the, the branding of this is very, oh, Porter losing his marbles at someone somewhere. This is the Arta Sleep Tonic, restorative blend to promote sleep. Organic botanical tincture, 100 ml. I'm gonna pop this by the bed. 100%. And then we have the GI Fix Comprehensive Gut Support. First things first, I am going to give my dressing room a blitz because there's stuff everywhere and I need to have a sort out of bits and pieces. So let's do it. Another brand that I received some lovely little bits and pieces from is Chatelier and oh my goodness, I have been loving their, um, what's it called? Their creme vitale in the mornings. It's so rich and so gorgeous. I can just add some radiance to it with like a by Terry CC powder if I want to. All of the ingredients are natural, organic, and every time a product is sold, they plant a tree, which I just think is so spectacular. I really, really love the products. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying some more. I've also got these minis, which I'm gonna pop in my Pilates bag so that I've always got something lovely after Pilates, after swimming. Right, I've watered all my plants. I've sorted out products to be taken downstairs and put in my skincare, but also like candles, body bits and pieces, they're all to go downstairs. So they're gonna stay in this bag to be transported. And I've just had a delivery from a company that I ordered a jumper from, and the jumper, the brand is called Herd, and it is a spectacular, British brand. When I saw this jumper, I could not resist. Oh my goodness me, look at that. It's obviously gonna be quite sort of boxy and cozy, but for just with a pair of jeans, this with my sort of ivory jeans will be really nice because the green will do all of the talking and then the other tones of my outfit will be really nice and soft. They're an expensive brand. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'll tell you a bit more about why this brand is special. There's quite a lot. But basically they collaborate with local craftspeople that have honed their expertise in their trades over generations. They have a very, very unique approach, strengthening existing ecosystems and creating positive and impactful structure, gently building webs of connection and mutual support that benefits stakeholders at every stage of the process. They source fibers directly from a collective of farmers and harvesters and maintain control of creating superior wool and fabric. Their signature Upland yarn is made from 100% blue faced Leicester fleeces within 150 miles of the farms in Yorkshire, Northwest England, where the climate provides perfect conditions and abundant rich green grass. The results rivals cashmere in quality. And that's really funny because when I took it out, I was like, that's not as rough as I would imagine. It is like almost like a borderline sort of cashmere vibe. Not not as soft as this, but it's, it is very interesting. So it's a really interesting brand that's going the extra mile. So that is one of those things that you'll end up paying a premium for. When people are paid what they are supposed to be paid to do their craft that they've perfected over many, many years, when um, people are paid living wages, that means that the cost of things goes up. That is not, I don't shoot the messenger. I didn't make that the rule, but that is what happens. When you take this approach to building a brand, that is what's going to happen. You're going to end up with a garment that is for 500 pounds that you know full well that you could get on, I don't know, from Primark for nothing, 
but it's the process, it's how the, the wool is cultivated, how the, the herds are nourished, fed, cared for, it's the transportation, it's the, the weaving, it's the, the um, farming practices, all of those things, when done to the standard that they should be, unfortunately, you'll end up paying more, but also your product will be of a much higher quality, it will last so much longer, and that is what I mean when I say that I'm paying I pay a premium for things that are gonna last in my wardrobe a little bit longer. And this is something that will make me so happy because it's just such a beautiful brand. They do cardigans as well. There was a few cardigans, but I could only justify um, this one at this time because it is the end of the season. But I also thought this would be quite nice, like over the shoulder kind of vibes, even just with this outfit, like a jumper with a jumper. Do you know what I mean? Lovely. I have nowhere near achieved what I wanted to today and I honestly can't explain why I think I feel like because today I've been trying to eat more um on the advice of my um like eat more protein on the advice of my PT but my whole body hurts that like just bending down I've not actually been able to do all of the sort of manual work that I've been trying to do today which is a bit of a letdown but um, going through my wardrobes and things like that has, has given me a real sort of clear vision on um, my style intentions for spring. I'm only gonna think of spring at this time. I don't really wanna go too far ahead with like summer because today is not the day to be thinking that far ahead, but it's really got me like paying more attention to the items that I'm bringing in, what is working and what isn't. I feel like every year I get better. Obviously, I um, work with a lot of brands, so I always, I'm always gonna have more stuff coming in than the average person. But what I've been spending my money on in terms of like accessories and that kind of thing, I know I'm like a broken record with it, but I really feel like I'm enjoying fashion, but I'm enjoying it in a way that makes me feel like I'm, first of all, just spending my money well. Um, second of all, actually wearing the things and I always know that I'm doing it right when someone's going oh can you wear something else I'm like that is what it should be like of the things that I'm wearing because I vlog my life all the time so you should be seeing these things a lot so for me going into to spring I think that just again I'm going to be focusing on those more minimal classic styles tailoring is always my favorite to wear in spring summer with some beautiful ballet pumps whether they're pointed, whether they're round toe. If we're lucky and we get a little heat spell, spell, it'll be over to the Arans. I think one of the things I might invest in this year is some properly like fitted to my feet correctly Birkenstocks. I've reached peak like <laughs> 30s in this, like mid 30s. Yeah, I've reached peak mid 30s in this because um, I feel like Birkenstocks are, you know, that you're there, but they are, they are comfortable. And I think for me, in terms of what I wear, a lot of loose clothing, my ballet pumps always look really lovely with the dresses that I wear, but those more like linen-y pieces, I think they're gonna work really well. I'm gonna try my best as much as possible to stay away from prints. Um, and that is going to be difficult as someone who loves botanical prints as much as I do. However, I, I think for special occasions, I think they're really, really lovely. Um, for day to day, I think I really want to hone that more classic look, whether that's sort of like, you know, I think I want to blend a little bit more of um, that clean, crisp, that clean crispness that I have in autumn, winter, where it's very tailored and blend it a little bit more with my style in spring, summer and just aim for comfort, aim for simplicity, but aim for dressing really well. And I don't really want to be taking too many like fashion risks or anything like that. Staying away from oversized things, I think I do that quite well in general, but staying, it's been, it's been, it's been tough. I'm not gonna lie, like those oversized shoulders, the way they make you look so tiny, I'm like, oh, I need them. But no, I'm, I'm having words with myself no matter how much I see them. And it's really lovely because I've got a pair of trousers that I just styled up with some Johnson, Johnsons of Elgin bits that will go up on my TikTok. And I've had those trousers for about three years. 
and they're very much na like the trouser of the moment. And so it's really nice that I've got these pieces that I can be like, ah, I've got that. The tones I'm gonna be leaning to are the same tones that I kind of worked with last year in terms of like those ivories, those whites, greens. Greens are always gonna be a heavy feature for me when it comes to my style. But also blues are always, I think blues are such a classic. Those navies, even those baby blues just work so beautifully. And um, I think for me, just those, that more refined style. I saw the most incredible video from Tom Chamberlain who works, he's one of the editors of The Rake and he does fantastic videos on TikTok. And the video was about his, basically his review of the Dunhill show and how it encapsulated everything that style is supposed to be. Um, and the, the comeback of Dunhill and how it had just really shown the run the runway for what it was for what it is at the moment and I honestly I think that especially in the women's space I know that it's also an artistic representation and, and things like that but I think that's where we get into the realm of this more time sensitive fashion and seeing the men's Dunhill catwalk, it was like, oh my gosh, like I was inspired. There was layering that I was like, I could totally incorporate that into my wardrobe. And I think we're three years into me dressing the way that I dress now. And I will always say I have never been happier and felt more comfortable. I like seeing people try different things, but try different things with classics in their wardrobes. There's so many ways that you can wear this jumper on its own. I wanna see people doing it differently. And that's where fashion gets excited for me. So anyway, that was my spring style. And then I'm gonna set my spring intentions. And really it's gonna be carrying on what I've done in midwinter in terms of, I've had a huge focus on my health and my lifestyle and what is living to me. I've had a lot of, a, a lot of ability to reflect on what's been going on in these last few months as well. And it's just so interesting how every year I learn a new lesson on work-life balance. And I think of what I was like when I first started my channel. And I know that you need to have those years where you really, really graft and grind. And I probably should still be doing them. And I'd probably be a lot further ahead um, in terms of things. But for me, having a healthy, enjoyable life. And I think that I've had so much routine. I've had so much time to take good care of myself so that when I do work, I'm doing a much better job. I feel like my vlogs are better. I feel like the content that I put, put out is better. I feel like I'm better. And so that's a real huge focus for me. Food and learning more. I feel like I'm learning so much about food, even today, just discussions about protein and protein powder. I've got a lot of things in terms of like learning and classes and lessons and things coming up in spring. So probably just focusing on that as well doing the things that, that bring me joy, like faffing in my home, like I've done in this video. I wanna obviously dress my home for, for spring and prepare for that. I'll start thinking about that probably now, now that I've been sort of um, resetting my, my home in, in time for spring. I think I do a better job and I create better content when I'm able to breathe around it and I'm not racing to a finish line. It's like, I, I learned such a valuable lesson just this week. I started off the year trying to post every single day on TikTok and that's not enjoyable for me. I don't like that pressure. And I didn't really grow much. I have to be honest, I did not grow much. It was not like when I was actually just posting what felt natural to me. I have posted one video this week and I've gained nearly 20,000 followers from one video, from one really authentic, like we literally, I didn't even set out to plan this video, it just happened. That to me is where I think I enjoy content creation the most. So really honing that a lot more, not trying to force myself to create X amount of content, not trying to force things and and be like quick off the mark. I think that things that come naturally and just flow are really, really the best in my opinion. Anyway, those are just a few of my intentions. I've got a lot more to do in this house to get it ready for spring. So we'll probably have to do a little bit more, especially seeing as I have just not achieved it today. And I could have just pretended this day didn't happen. But I also want you to know that that is life. Sometimes you set out with a task and it is not possible to achieve it. And I don't know what it is. I felt like I was like faffing everywhere, but I've had a lot to say as well. So hopefully it's, it's also been interesting. That is my phone ringing with Miss Carrie Grayson, so I'm going to answer that, and I will see you guys in my next video.